David's last run weighed on all our thighs, carrying the black man's burden, tripping on Darwinian ties, fascist fists, downward spiraling his own mind's twists. Then filthy push into the river air, dirty shine, mucky waste, Nostrup sewage works, his final place. No milk and honey there. From the foundry where he worked, right out to Middleton Woods, where, like a stray dog, they often left him. You think someone would have heard his hounded tears? Or in Bridal House doorway, where one of them relieved themselves on the bed he slept in, that the mannequins would stand, head bowed, for years. But at the Market Tavern, they didn't pause, pint down, lips not yet wet. And at Milgarth Police Station, some say to its very last day, they'd still not truly heard David yet. But the golden owls saw Sergeant Kitching and Inspector Ellica. The owls witnessed the city's chain. They'd watched Enoch's rivers of blood slipstream in and heard the promises drain and seen that like trade winds, the mental health policies shift and rough sleeper services drift. None erodes the stain. Stow away regret, but neither the river nor owls forget. And so he remains because as he was gathered up by water. He was wishing for wells in our eyes now, hoping we could see for him his Lagos skies now and know him, not as Ali Walla or Wog, but that Oluwale, or God comes home is his name. And write it with the Trayvon Martins the Sarah Reeds, the George Floyds, the Bicos, in that scorebook of injustice end games, because we're still in same mire, simmering with David's fire, but Yorkshire winds gently cultivate space for him and fan his flames. And with those sparks, hope flies. And even in the mist of our sighs, he is Breathing, he remains.